Here we have a sketch of a generic HPLC system. Uh, for the rest of the sessions of this series, we'll be following the flow path through the system, looking at various parts in detail. Today we'll look at the components within the uh, dotted line here, which include the mobile phase reservoir, uh, the pump, and the injector or auto sampler. Our emphasis will be on how these different parts work, what can go wrong with them, and how we can prevent problems from happening in the future. So here's an outline of uh, what we're going to look at. We'll start off and look at the reservoirs and related to the reservoirs are degassing. Uh, then we'll take a look at pumps and finally at auto samplers. Well, the mobile phase reservoir is a, a pretty simple device and you might think it might uh, not be worth our time to talk about, uh, but there are some important things here. On the, the reservoir usually is just a glass container uh, such as a uh, Erlenmeyer flask or a, a bottle. I like the ones, the heavy walled uh, glass bottles with a, a big plastic cap on the top. Um, if you're doing ion chromatography and or worried about sodium ions, uh, glass certainly is not a, a good choice. You'd use plastic in a case like that. For, for most of us, uh, glass works fine. Uh, you can even use the bottles that the solvent come in uh, comes in if you'd like. A couple of things that you'd uh, want to be sure of is that this container is inert and clean. It's uh, good to replace the aqueous mobile phase um, once every uh, week, uh, maybe every two weeks some people do it, but I certainly like to replace the, the buffer once a week. Um, the mobile phase, for if it's uh, all organic, uh, say acetonitrile or methanol, it can usually go longer, uh, a couple weeks to, to a, a month. But a good policy is, is never top up the reservoir. Uh, fill up the reservoir uh, once, uh, run it down till it's at the bottom, and then take the reservoir off and wash it out or replace it with a clean one, and you'll have a lot better uh, luck. Uh, you're, you'd be surprised at how much uh, junk can grow inside a buffer solution, uh, particularly if it's contaminated from a previous um, a batch. And if uh, by any chance uh, you forget about uh, the buffer and leave it on the, solu on the system long enough uh, that it does grow things in it, uh, be sure to either replace or the uh, frit at the end of the tubing or dip the whole frit and tubing in nitric acid, let's say, to uh, to kill any of the, the bugs in there so they don't uh, continue growing. 